think on the balance of the play? That was probably a point gained. Uh, yeah, I'd probably say so, to be honest. Um, thinking, thinking about it, we had half his chance. We've had one half chance with Johnny at the end. They were obviously at the crossbar. Um, so, on balance, balance of chances, I'd say they potentially might have just edged it. Um, on play, I'd say they probably they had the better of it. So, I think it's definitely a point gained. You played, like you personally, you played against them three times a season. I've not beaten them yet. They're a decent side, aren't they? Yeah, they, they're good. Um, you've got to respect the opposition at times, and they've definitely got an identity in a way of playing. Uh, they've got a lot of energy. They get around the pitch well, uh, land on a lot of second balls, and uh, they keep the uh, good at maintaining attacks. Uh, they've obviously got an aerial threat with Hopi, who came on at the end. Um, Cullen's obviously headed one to the bar. He's not bad in the air either, but uh, they've got a lot of threats, and they've got a they've got a good way of playing. And you can see that everyone understands the role. So. They're a tough, type, tough team to play against. How big a positive is it not on the day, perhaps when the manager has said, you know, you weren't at your best, but you've come away with another clean sheet? Yeah, well, I think that's the key. Um, that's massive. I think we've been, obviously, it's been spoken about a lot. We've been good at that all season. Um, tight, as a tight unit, we've managed to keep a lot of a lot of clean sheets and not concede many goals. Obviously, we spoke about it in the week being from front to back, it starts with the shape of the team, not just the goalkeeper and the defenders, it's the whole team, it's it's the unit uh, and that togetherness has got us another another clean sheet today and got us a point on a day when when we were nowhere near where we want to be. You obviously come back into the team, uh, I think I'm right in saying you'll be back in the team for six games and only two goals have gone in, you must be pleased with that. Uh, yeah, yeah that is right but it's I think it's just it's just a role. Um, I'm happy to be back playing again, uh, obviously on a personal level. But um, it's gone on all season. Obviously, the records, records. I think before today we were ten goals better off than the next team. So it's something that's. Well, I spoke about it earlier in the week or last week that it's something the gaffer instilled immediately as soon as he come on, come in. The principles and the defending um, things that we live by now. Um, it started started when the gaffer first came in, and I think you're showing the rewards and now getting shown for it. So it starts from front to back. So everyone, yeah. A different position for you in the back three today. What, what is the key difference between playing in the centre and playing on the left? Uh, I think there is quite a big difference. Um, on the left, obviously, didn't happen so much today, but normally you, you could get freedom to join in, join in attacks, something which we've done well throughout the season, using that wide centre half, move going forward and using it as an out ball. Um, they set up quite well, really, dealt with us quite well, um, so that didn't happen too much. You've got to get across the pitch more, you're obviously covering, you're generally covering more, um, you've got to be constantly alive, constantly organising people around you. Um, so, although it's only five yards in, in the formation, the role is quite a bit different. How did you enjoy captain inside? Yeah, I did enjoy it. Yeah, it, it's just it's just an armband. It didn't make a difference. It didn't make a difference to anything I did or how I tried to perform. So it's just it's just an armband at the end of the day. But it is obviously something I'm proud of. Yeah. I didn't actually watch the, uh, the discussion between the two skippers at the start. Clearly, there were no handshakes before yeah, the game. Yeah. Do, do you shake hands before the game started, as captain? Uh, well, no, we didn't. That was quite funny. We walked into um, ref's office before before the start of the game, and everyone shook hands. And then all of a sudden, he said, "The ref said, no one's going to be shaking hands today." And we just did it there, so that's the difference. But um, no, it was a bit strange. Everyone, everyone was looking along the line, waiting for us to walk along and shake hands, and said, "Get off, lads. That's it. Done. We're not shaking hands." So that was a bit odd, a bit odd. But I guess it's the time you know, and what's what's going on. So what can you do? Ten games to go now. Uh, clearly, this is one of the best seasons in the football league the club's had mm -hmm. for many years. Do you have in your, your head a points target that you want to get to? Um, we broke it down earlier in the season into a couple of blocks of games. Um, so we we split it up into three sections, three different numbers of games. So we had points target points targets within that. So yeah, we do, but that's obviously in house and something that something that we're as a group we sat down together and did and something that we're striving towards at the minute so that's what we've got to worry about our own points total and then if we're good enough with that see where see where we end up clearly uh, the the season has been better than 
hopefully many people would have hoped. Within the camp, would you say that actually you're getting the type of season you were looking for at the start of the season? Uh, yeah, I'd say so. I'd say there were belief, especially from the end of last season. Um, we finished well, obviously the home form were very good and we knew that we had within the dressing room enough quality and enough good characters to to put something together and obviously the gaffers added a few of us somewhere in January and they've they've bought into everything that we, we're trying to do so added quality as well so we definitely I don't think it surprised many in here probably it surprised a lot more people outside the club and outside the dressing room than it has inside no doubt about it the manager's come out again he's praised you and your attitude how would you describe your relationship then? Uh, I'm just from the moment he came in. I just saw it as a massive chance to learn, learn from him. Um, obviously, his his career as a player was brilliant. From obviously played in every tier, from top eight or whatever. Um, and his attitude is something that I've I've developed when I was younger. But it's something I definitely saw saw similarities and almost latched onto that and thought, right, okay, almost an inspiration really, I'd say. And then obviously as, him as a manager, he's, I think he's been brilliant, he's been brought up obviously, um, he's brought a lot from Lum Sean Dyche and the manager he's played under, so uh, that was always something I looked at from outside Burnley and I was intrigued by how they had so much success with punching above the weight. So as soon as he came in, I just thought it was a massive chance to learn and that's what I've tried to do and that's what I'm still trying to do. And he's thankfully, he's, I think he's probably half noticed that. Well, <laughs> probably hard not to when I'm asking him so many questions or whatever. But um, yeah, and I think he he obviously tries to help me where he can, but not just me. Everyone, um, he's very good with all the players. So yeah, he's been great. So off to the races this week. Any top tips? Nah, that's what I'm going to ask you actually at the end. So nah, yeah, I'm not the man to ask. So um, I don't, none of the boys have got anything at the minute. So we'll have to wait and see. Hopefully, we'll get a winner or two. But it's a, it's a club tradition, isn't it, to go to the races? So you've been here for uh, longer than anyone else, so you're used to it now? Uh, yeah, although before the gaffer came in, I didn't. we didn't go as a team. It wasn't something under Gary, it wasn't something that we did. Um, but last season with the gaffer, we did it. And it was a great day out. The lads obviously get together. And there ain't that many chances where you can get the whole squad together. I mean, you get a Christmas due generally, but then obviously people have got family and other commitments and travelling and stuff. So. Um, it's a good opportunity to get everyone together outside of football and bond a little bit more. We've got a tight-knit group as it is, but I think anything like that can, can only add to, add to the, the squad.